back to another presentation of CV Mod. This time I have with me the synth that I had in mind when I came up with the idea for this app. This is the Behringer Neutron. It's finally available in the US. And it's got this great uh, expansive patch bay over here on the right hand side, which is perfect for CV Mod. So, to get started, I've just got a simple patch over here. I am using a sawtooth wave blended with a, um, a square wave that's being modulated back and forth between these uh, two pulse width shapes. That's a pretty nice sound as it is, but let's see what we can do with CV Mod to expand upon that. Okay, so in addition to using the LFO to modulate the filter, the pulse width, and then via the patch bay, we're using it to modulate the wave shape of oscillator 2. Let's modulate some other things. So we've already got this subtle movement with oscillator 2. Let's add a little bit of movement to oscillator 1. So now using the left output from the stereo breakout cable, this is LFO1. I'm going to plug that into the oscillator 1 input on the neutron. Turn the mix over so you can hear what that sounds like. If we crank it up, it'll get more noticeable. And if we turn up the rate... Bring in oscillator 2 again. And now what we could do Let's go into the envelope generation section and modulate the depth of how LFO1 is LFO1 from CV mod is affecting the pitch on the neutron. So it 
that changes over time. In addition, we can turn up the aftertouch in CV mod so that we can modulate, we can adjust the depth on the fly using aftertouch on the keyboard. Okay, so we have that. Let's see what we can do with LFO2. How about we modulate the resonance? So we've already got some filter movement, so let's have a little bit of movement with the resonance. I'm going to plug the right channel, which is oscillator 2 from CV mod, into the resonance input on the neutron. And let's see what that does. That's kind of cool. Let's um, let's uh, modulate oscillator two of CV mod with the envelope generator. And this time, we are going to invert the envelope. So, inverts on, which means it's going to be at uh, full speed on the attack, and then it's going to wind down towards the sustain value. And then when we release the key, it's going to speed up again to that initial attack value. And you can see that I've got frequency modulation turned up. This is a new feature that I haven't demonstrated in any other videos yet. Uh, new in 1.2.1, it allows you to change the frequency of the oscillator over time. So uh, enough talking, let's just hear it. <laughs> Uh, let's turn up the release on the neutron so you can really hear that. Turn up the filter frequency a little bit. You can hear that after I release the key it speeds back up make the attack even longer Oops. and then to slow down the filter uh, or excuse me the resident resonance modulation you have to excuse me I'm fighting a cold right now just turn the sustain down up and then using these all using all of this modulation together in combination with the delay is pretty fun let's hear that
And of course we could turn off inversion on LFO2. After the release, it speeds back up, and you got the delay in there too, which uh, makes for an interesting sound. So that's it. I just wanted to show you what you could do with CB Mod and the new uh, frequency modulation feature in the envelope generators with the Behringer Neutron, which is an awesome synth, and you should check it out if you haven't already. That's it. Thanks so much for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below. All right. Have a good one.